So last week I gave episode one of True Lies a bit of a critical mauling. Um, here I am back with episode two to see if the show has improved any, if it's made me look at it in a new light. So let's talk about this episode here entitled Public Enemies. Let's get to it. So let me welcome you back to the channel, first and foremost. Now, if you didn't catch my review for episode one, please look back a week in my thread and you will find it there. Um, so this episode finds Helen, Harry's wife, on her first mission for Amiga, going to an academic conference in Madrid to help stop um, a bioweapon terrorist attack. Um, whilst there, we come to find out that Harry was the handler of this cryptographer named Zeman. Um, and Harry has to keep this a secret to his wife, um, even though their relationship kind of occurred before him and his wife got together. Because, you know, family stuff. Um, so does this episode work or doesn't it? So, uh, the issues I had with the first episode still remain. Um, I find this show to be very flat in what it does. Now, the episode here is quite predictable. You know, I mean, it opens up with this action scene of Helen um, supposedly on a mission, but it's obviously a training exercise. Why would they do this in the first episode? However, or in the second episode, when she first becomes a spy. That being said, she is sent on her first mission, like I said, but with Harry and all the others, She's excited about this, but also a bit sort of concerned. Um, Harry's a bit concerned also because of the introduction of this other woman called Zimmon and what this could mean for him and stuff that could come out. You know, no one likes talking about their exes or their, their current partners, their wives meeting the exes. It's awkward, isn't it? And that's what this episode plays upon. Um, there's some action thrown into the fray. Of course there is. But a lot of it's done with jokes. There's so many jokes. I'm not saying they're funny jokes. They're not funny jokes. This show's very light-hearted. But when these jokes are being played out during action scenes, it really detracts from um, any danger that these characters could potentially be in. Um, so this show really needs to focus on a bit of seriousness in what it does. Now, unfortunately, like I said, we're two episodes in, and, and still, I feel no connection between these two leads. I, uh, I feel they've got no chemistry whatsoever. It is, it's, it's just defunct. I don't know if that's something that will come over time or change. Um, I don't know the shooting order for the episodes of this show. But if it's done chronologically, so to speak, linear, then, you know, their character may build up as we get further into it. Who knows? Um but ultimately the whole episode is flat it's flat we get introduced to well we get a bit of a turnaround in the story in that you know harry's worried about her meeting and a sort of ex or someone that he had something to do with um but lo and behold um he meets an ex of helen's at this at this conference and um yeah and he's put you know, uh, put back a bit by this. So you get that sort of reversal there. So when she comes to find out about him or this girl, you know, no harm, no foul kind of a thing. What can she really say? Um, I don't really know. Uh, I think the show, the show is very flat and it's lacking. Now, obviously, this is a standard TV show. It's not on streaming site or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure that this show will find an audience. It'll probably be picked up for a season two as well. But I've been watching it and I'm thinking it'd be far better if it, it, it wasn't titled True Lies. If it had nothing to do with, in that, in that sense, with the Arnie film. If it was just a film of its own. The problem is, is that Helen is too capable in what she does. Um, fighting and 
acrobatics and a linguist and all this sort of thing. There's, she, she's just too good. She's too good. And what the film relied on was the fact that these characters, you know, she was a norm, more of a normal woman being caught up in this world. But here, you know, this programme just wants to be a spy show um, with a couple at the helm who have to deal with couple things, with their kids and stuff like this. Um, obviously the kids come into play again in this episode and they've got Mrs Myers, the, the woman next door, who's secretly a spy there to keep an eye on the kids. Essentially a babysitter more than anything else. But for me, I, I'm not enjoying it. This is one of those programmes that's background noise. I find myself twiddling with my phone, things like this. It doesn't engage me. It doesn't bring me in. It doesn't pull me in. Um just so flat it really is and I don't know how long I could watch this show for I'll be honest with you um, um, but I will be back next week I will watch next week's one I'll give it a chance it could potentially grow on me it could but that remains to be seen anyway let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section what you think of this series you know, are you watching this and you're thinking, wow, this is this is the best thing I've seen in ages. This is the best thing to happen to TV in a long, long time. Or is it just a, another generic show to you? I'd be interested on your thoughts. Or in your thoughts. On your thoughts. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. Um, anyway, this is AJ. I'm getting going. Don't forget to drop a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up. Share. Like. Whatever you want to do. Give me a thumbs down if you want. Means, you know. Whatever. I'm off because I'm rambling. See you later.